minor emancipation today, basically the process of taking a 16 or 17 year old minor and making them legally 18 before they are actually 18. And they, in the Texas Family Code, they call it removing the disability of minority because being a minor in some ways, based on the code's language, is a disability. Minor cannot sign contracts for themselves, consent to certain medical treatment. The minor cannot uh, live on their own. Um, So what it does is it turns the minor into an adult for legal purposes. It also takes away the obligations of the parent um, and the liability of the parent. The parent no longer has the obligation to give child support to an emancipated minor. Parent no longer has the obligation or guardian no longer has the obligation to, um, to either support, shelter, or in any way continue to treat the minor as a child. And so that's what this, on both sides, there are sometimes it's the need of the guardian to have the minor emancipated, and sometimes it's the need of the minor, which is the underlying motivation. But in any event, the court will not grant this relief unless the court finds that this idea is in the best interest of the minor. And in order to prove that, which I've read across the web can be difficult, um, in order to prove that, financial independence and that the minor is very responsible and motivated to do this step, um, it's, it's just not going to happen. It's ultimately going to be the judge's choice. So if there, somebody is seeking a minor emancipation, what they're going to be doing is the minor can file a petition and a waiver of service. They file a petition in the county where they live, the district court where they live, and then the guardian, if they don't want to be served with notice of this lawsuit or involved, the guardian signs a waiver of service. Once that's filed, a hearing can be set where a judge will see the parties in this case and will decide whether to grant the minor emancipation. The judge will ultimately, again, have 100% of the discretion on whether to grant this. So because of that fact, some people hire lawyers, private lawyers, to go and advocate and explain and present why this is in the minor's best interest. The judge also, in many cases, will appoint an ad litem lawyer, which is not your own lawyer. It's a lawyer that investigates the entire situation and decides whether to recommend to the court that it's in the best interest of the minor to be emancipated. So at the final hearing, the guardians do not have to be there if they sign a waiver. An ad litem attorney has to be there if the judge appoints one. Your lawyer will be there for you if you hire one. Otherwise, the you will be there as the minor uh, on your own with these people here to decide on what's going to happen. What you say definitely matters as well. We'll get a little bit more into that. So again, the judge would sign a final order of emancipation. And if the judge agrees to do so, that will mean that you can sign your own contracts, obtain your medical care, reside alone. Your guardians are no longer liable for you in any way. The thing that we have here is just a young person showing they're responsible. The idea is that it's just a visual to show what you have to show, which is that you're 16 or 17 and that you're financially independent and you are ready to be on your own. And sometimes this kind of thing is motivated because it's like the, the, the young person feels like they're a bird in a cage and they're already ready to leave. They're already ready to fly. They're already ready to go. And that's why the law has provisioned for emancipating a minor. To try to take away the mystery of how these types of cases go, uh, we have we have available at our template shop a actual packet of papers that somebody used to win this emancipation. They did not hire a lawyer. It's just the actual papers that they used. And we think that there can be a lot of utility in that for a person that's looking into this to just see what exactly was filed that worked. Um, I think that there's a lot of hiding the ball in law that, that the Partis Friends Company is trying to, to, get away, to, to get rid of because if we can all see each other's stuff, how did we settle these cases? How did we win these cases? It can help take away um, stress and 
taking away stress can bring more peace to families in difficult situations. So that's why we have some of these things that, that have actually worked, actual examples, not just templates, but examples of, you know, the kind of flawed work that happens and is filed and, and works. And lawyers, lay people like we think could benefit from that kind of thing. But because this isn't just a, a, some sort of trick to try to get people to buy this, I want you to know that we also have language here that you could use if you're trying to write your own forms or if you're a lawyer you could see some language that is used um, in some of these cases to get a petition filed for the removal of disabilities of minority. Importantly that petition has to be verified which means that it has to be notarized and if there's an ad litem the ad litem has to file that petition and notarize it. It has to, it's not just a regular petition, it has to be notarized as you will see the example of how they did that in this packet. Also, there's going to be an order and the order can, uh, it has to be signed by the judge at the end in order to be worth anything, but the order, if it's signed by the judge, that means the emancipation is granted. And this idea of the bird being on this, in this nest that they don't belong in anymore it's, that's what the case is. That's what a, removing a disability of minority is. It's showing the judge that it's in your best interest to leave, to leave this nest. And I think this is just a great picture of a, an amazing looking bird. So we put the sources of the Texas Family Code here. That way you could look at it yourself um, and see what the exact law is. And we have a contact form here in case you want to reach a minor emancipation lawyer directly. And this is at partisfriends.com, Emancipation of Minor Law in Texas, but we'll link to it below the video if you're not on the website when you're watching this. And so here's the whole law. Now the things that are in yellow, we just wrote in to try to explain the law because nobody likes to read a whole law, a whole code, but we, we highlighted in yellow the law about emancipating a minor and again, link to that form. And that's just the basically this blog post about emancipation of a minor. And I hope that it has been something that you find guides you and takes away hiding the ball of, we all have the right to this wonderful legal system and we should all know what it says and have access to it. So thanks so much for stopping by the Partis Friends Company and I appreciate you being here.